Shalom. Our verse for the day is 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7. Who made you so important? What have you got that was not given to you? And if it was given to you, why are you boasting as though it were your own? Our verse is made of three important questions that St. Paul posits to the Corinthian church. When Paul arrived in Corinth, his preaching was not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with demonstration of spirit and power. 1 Corinthians 2 4. His message was that of the foolish and scandalous cross on which the Savior of the world died. 1 Corinthians 1 22. After Paul's preaching, those who accepted the gospel were richly endowed by God with spiritual gifts, as chapters 12 to 14 of 1 Corinthians indicates. Because of this gift, the believers became arrogant, feeling so important. There was a sort of competition among them, with people comparing their gifts to those of others, leading to discrimination among believers. Some who were richly endowed looked down on those who had fewer gifts. This was cause for great concern. The question of the feeling of importance was attached to the identity of the minister. The two prominent names were Paul and Apollos. Some believers claimed to be for Paul and others for Apollos as if these ministers were gods. Paul makes it clear that the believers ought to regard them as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. If at all any believer received some gifts through the ministry of either Paul or Apollos, it's because they were instruments of God. Hence, no one should discriminate against another because of the minister. In today's Christendom, some ministers and believers are so full of themselves because of certain gifts given to them. We hear stories of people who establish prayer houses and churches because they have received spiritual gifts. Such believers do these things in search of recognition and prominence. There are some who monetize their gifts. St. Paul asks, what have you got that was not given to you? And if it was given to you, why are you boasting as though it were your own? If it was given to you, why do you sell it? Why do you collect money before you use your charism for the good of the Christian community? Have you forgotten what Jesus said in Matthew 10, 8? Freely you have received, freely you give. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the charisms of the Spirit in the church. Help each endowed Christian to realize that the gift is for the common good and it is freely given. Amen.